Emmanuel Tsebe and Jerry Pale were facing murder charges in Botswana. It's an offense punishable by hanging in that country. They fled to South Africa. But because they were in the country illegally, Home Affairs wanted to deport them. When the Constitution was adopted in 1996, we as a nation chose for ourselves the path of creating a new society based, amongst others, on the values of human dignity and the advancement of human rights. The court holds that handing over anyone to a state where he or she will face the risk of imposition and execution of the death penalty is inconsistent with those values and will be a breach of the state's obligations under the Constitution. Rights bodies stepped in, taking the matter to court. After a few court challenges by at least four government departments, the High Court ruled in favor of the men. One of them, Tsebe, passed away before the matter could be finalized. And today's government attempt to deport the remaining person was thwarted. Condemnation is granted. Two, leave to appeal is granted. Three, the appeals are all dismissed. Four, the applicants, the ministers and the government are ordered to pay the cost of Mr. Pali and the cost of the Society for the Abolition of the Death Penalty in South Africa. It's not the first time that Botswana's capital punishment law has come under the spotlight. The hanging of South African national Marietta Bosch in 2001 sparked national and international debate over the death penalty in that country. Janjicha Uke, SABC News, Constitutional Court, Johannesburg.